I'm Paul Tafuro and I'm a paleontologist originally, but now I'm working on biomedical imaging. It's linked to the COVID pandemic because we realized that the technique developed to image the fossils was a way to access the internal anatomy in human organs down to the cellular level. For the moment, we are working on isolated organs, but we are building a gigantic beamline at CSRF that will make possible to image a complete human body down to the cellular scale to understand the effect of COVID, but also to work uh, at a much larger scale on the complete human anatomy. I am Alexandra Pacureanu. I am a scientist developing X-ray microscopy for life sciences. My current main interest is uh, neuroscience applications and this is posing huge uh, challenges. So for example, a global challenge is to, to map an entire mammalian brain at subcellular level, that is to map the neurons and their connections between them. And for this, with existing technology, it would take hundreds to thousands of years. EBS will empower us to simultaneously gain resolving power and to scale up the technology to cover large tissue volumes. This is very important to tackle neurological diseases such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's or autism. I'm Daniel De Santis. I'm a biophysicist. I use a structural biology to study the structure of protein to understand the machinery of life. I'm responsible of a new EBS beamline for serial crystallography, whose objective is to determine how protein structure changes with time. Proteins are very fast machinery. By studying samples of a few micrometers in a few microseconds, we can determine how the protein works. This will lead to the development of new medical compounds for the treatment of human diseases, but it will also allow the development of new environmental applications for the treatment of bio-waste. I'm Angelica Rosa, I'm an Earth scientist interested in planetary formation processes. In the moment I study volatiles such as water and CO2, which play a key role in this topic. I want to understand how they distribute between the surface and the interior of a planet that can help us to understand how atmospheres form. This is very challenging. Thanks to the EBS we can perform new type of experiments and extend these type of studies to more extreme pressure and temperature conditions and to very high dilution levels. This will allow us to study natural samples and to reach the conditions at the center of giant gas planets such as Neptune or exoplanets that are now being discovered. I am Iram Castillo Michel. I am an environmental scientist investigating the fate of toxic elements and nanomaterials in the environment. In particular, I am interested in agricultural systems, which are under increasing pressure amid climate change and the global population increase. In order to maintain agricultural productivity and food safety, we need to understand how nutrients, toxic elements and nanomaterials behave at the plant-soil interface. At DSRF, I study the localization and chemistry of nanomaterials in living organisms such as plants and microbes. With EVS, we will study with unprecedented detail their localization and chemical transformations. This will help us better perform risk assessment to propose adequate solutions to this complex environmental issue. Mm -hmm. 